Hello, today I'm going to show how to put color on this. You know, sometimes the client likes to have lots of colors. They don't want just a monochrome, one color product. Um, so if I was going to change colors, first of all, to change the whole part, um, you can right click on the object and you can say, um, edit the appearance of the part. If you do that, you're going to change the color of the entire part. Um, so I can make it green, I can make it teal, whatever you like. So there you go. That's how you change the entire part. If you want to just do a face, like for example, right here, this is a face. You can kind of see the faces. There's a face, there's a face, there's another face. So if I just get on a face, if I go right there and I right click on that face, I can say edit the appearance of the face um, and I can make it a different color. All right, so something like that. And I did a nice contrasting color. You can go inside and you can say like, let's edit the, this face right here. So you kind of got to move your mouse around, find the face you want. Say, edit the appearance of the face. And you can go in there and change it and make it whatever you want. All right, so that's the idea. Um, now, if you'll notice, a lot of times when you make bowls and things that are round, you sometimes forget that this is round. There's no face here. This is all one smooth, continuous face. So if you want to add a face, you can actually go back into the, um, go into your Revolve, go into the sketch, and you'll notice like this big round continuous face. If I want to add a face in there, I'll hit N and square that up. You just need a square, you need some straight edge, like just draw like a straight edge across it. Um, and then you can hit your trim tool and trim away the parts that you don't want. So trim away that. And it doesn't have to be a big straight edge, but this straight edge right there, now that's going to be a face. So if I go like that, now look, there, oh man, it's kind of a big face, but it's there. Um, and now I can right click and I can say, edit the appearance of that face. And I can make that a different color as well. So something like that. And now I've got multi-colors. Um, it's getting pretty cool. So I want to color this here. I go edit the appearance of the face and I can go and make it. You know whatever I'm trying to do, so it's getting it's getting pretty technical. Our dream coat. Uh, what else can I do? This one I can change this one. Edit the appearance of the face and make it a nice yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that's kind of yeah. That's how it's done. All right. Good luck.